Even to this day, William Tecumseh Sherman's name is cursed in parts of the South, but he is still recognized as a great leader and amazing strategist. He and his troops carried war to the southern home front and scorched a blazing trail of destruction that brought the death blow to the Confederacy. He was born February 8, 1820 in Lancaster, Ohio to a wealthy family. His father named him after a Shawnee Indian chief, Tecumseh, but his family called him Cump and his soldiers Uncle Billy. When he was nine years old, his father died, and he was sent to live with a family friend, Thomas Ewing. William Tecumseh Sherman played a role in triggering the California Gold Rush. While he was stationed in San Francisco, he convinced the governor, Richard Mason, to investigate a gold discovery in California. He was present at the mission that confirmed the existence of gold deposits along the Sacramento River. Later, Sherman became second-in-command to Ulysses S. Grant. Grant was accused of being a drunk, and Sherman a madman, but they supported and respected one another and became the best of friends. He fought many battles, such as the Battle of Bull Run, in which Harriet Tubman served as an American spy. His most famous was the Savannah Campaign, better known as Sherman's March to the Sea. I was sure I could take the city of Savannah and make Georgia howl. In November of 1864, I began my march with 62,000 men, 35,000 horses and mules, and 25,000 covered wagons. I cut off all communication and supply lines, sustaining my men only on the land. He and his men ripped apart railroads, softened them over a fire, then twisted them around trees until they were beyond repair. These warped rails became known as Sherman's bow ties. In December of 1864, I conquered the city of Savannah and offered it to President Lincoln as a Christmas gift. After the march, I was offered Grant's position as Lieutenant General, but I refused, saying, Grant is a great general. I know him well. He stood by me when I was crazy, and I stood by him when he was drunk. And now we stand by each other always. General William Tecumseh Sherman lived until February 14, 1891, aged 71 years old. During one of his battles, he caught pneumonia and later died at his home. The day of his funeral was bitterly cold and rainy. His lifelong rival, Joe Johnston, refused to wear his cap because he wanted to respect Sherman. As he stood in the rain to watch the cortege pass, he caught a cold, which caused his death two weeks later. He had many statues and monuments erected in his name but the respect of his rival is considered perhaps the greatest tribute ever paid to William Tecumseh Sherman, the man that made Georgia howl.